stereo. Rock the house, show. Sure. to Mieselman. Nice feed from Atkins. Well, you are right, China. She has had to work for every shot. Great way to start the serve. But let's be a whole lot better in our mindset about how we approach this thing. This is home to me, though, to be able to go out there tonight and share this with the fans and hopefully come away with a win would really mean a lot. Cloud all the way. Deladon left all alone, and she makes some pass. To win these kind of games, you got to have guts and you got to have emotion, but you also got to have some calmness when everything is crazy. One point advantage for Washington, trying to close this out. Deladon, smooth. Misaman, does it! Huge shot by Emma Misaman. 22 points off the bench. And the Washington Mystics, for the second straight season, are headed to the WNBA Finals. Last year, there was that giddy feeling that you get when you do something the first time. And we can celebrate, but we got one more step, and the next step is really hard. will put the finishing touches on a game one win. The Washington Mystics are a win away from their first WNBA title. They game three in commanding fashion. 94-81 the final. Y'all heard that? One more! One more! High level basketball tonight in D.C. Washington starting to taste it. Misa Ming! Hit it! Mike Tebow, 57 seconds away from his first ever title. The winningest coach in WNBA history.
What's going on, Mystics fans? We heard it from Coach Tebow in that piece. And one more time, because of all of you in this building all season long, you made this a new home court advantage for the Washington Mystics, who are now the 2019 WNBA champions. It's time to meet your 2019 WNBA champion, Washington Mystics. Basketball Operations Coordinator, Emma Skinker. Equipment Manager, Amy Gracie. Strength and Conditioning Intern, Daniel Payne. Strength and conditioning coach, Sarah Wall. Video assistant, Andrew Way. Video coordinator, Daniel Villarreal. Special assistant, Shay Petty. Assistant player development, Asia Jones. Director of Player Development, Sapu Pernar. The head athletic trainer is Shaliza Panza. Assistant coach, Marianne Stanley. Associate head coach, Eric Tebo. Assistant general manager, Maria Giovanetti. And now, friends, it's time to meet your WNBA champion players of the Washington Mystics. Unable to be here, a 5 9 god from Maryland 32, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. A 6 foot god from North Carolina, number 5, Kiara Leslie. A 5'9 forward from Michigan State, 23, Ariel Powers. A 5'9 guard from Colorado State, number six, Kim Mistar. A 6'1 forward from Louisville, number two, Maisha Heinz Allen. A 6-3 forward from Maryland, 21, Keanu Hawkins. A 5-7 guard from Maryland, number 20, Christy Tolliver. A 5-9 guard from St. Joseph, number 9, Natasha Cloud. A 6'2 center from North Carolina, number 30, Latoya Center. A 5'8 guard from Texas, number 7, Ariel Lankin. A 6'5 forward from Delaware, and the first player in WNBA history to surpass the 90-40-50 mark. 
She was the regular season MVP, number 11, Helena Teladon. And a six more forward from Belgium. During the finals, she averaged 17.8 points, 4.6 rebounds, and was 50% from the three-point line. In helping them miss it to their championship, the MVP of the WNBA Finals, number 33, Emma Misama. And ladies and gentlemen, your general manager and head coach, Mike Timo. And now, let's hand it over to Megan McPeak. Let's go, Dallas! Mystics fans, your 2019 WNBA champions. At this time, I'd like to call the president and managing partner of the Washington Mystics, Dr. Sheila Johnson. Hello, everyone. Hello. Can you believe it? What a journey we've been on. Since 2005. Congratulations to our team, our organization, and the city. We're so thrilled to share this with our fans. And we have the best fans in the WNBA. And I'll tell you, we couldn't be happier to close it out in front of our Ward 8 community. Now, I don't know if Treyon White is here yet. Our Ward 8 Council, are you here? Well, he... for our team, and we couldn't be prouder of our team's hard work, accomplishments, and success throughout the season. Today is the start of a celebration. We wanted to kick it off on our home court in the newly created ESA and in Ward 8. We had to start here because this is the community we love that has been there for us since our first game this season. We will share the celebration across the city in the coming days. And we're looking forward to having a parade in the spring. When our entire team can celebrate the time, dedication, and work they have put into the season together. We are grateful to the mayor who is responsible for this great arena, and we will be our co-host for the parade in the spring. Thank you to the team. You have been an inspiration, not just to me personally, but to this entire city. And I'm getting calls from all over the country. You are an inspiration to this great nation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Mystics fans, last year in the 2018 finals, we know what happened. And that started the Run It Back campaign. These ladies ran it back, and then they had some unfinished business to complete in the finals.